Hello everyone. Today we are here to start up on another topic of English grammar, which is again carry a very big importance and plays a pivotal role in the formation of language, sentence structure, and many other things in English. So without any delay, I would like to switch it on to the topic, and the topic we are going to read is active and passive voice. Before starting up with any topic, we should not think about the topic uh, directly. We should not jump on the topic directly. Like if we are talking about active and passive voice, we should not directly switch on to the active voice or the passive voice. First, we need to make a base very strong and strengthen the basic necessities of any topic. So before jumping onto the topic active and passive voice, I would like to clear some of the very basic things which are really very important in the topic. So the basic things which are really needed in active and passive voice, they are these terms, the four terms which play a pivotal role and on which you can say the building of active and passive voice stands. So first is subject. What is a subject? In many books, at many places, from many resources, uh, you might have heard that subject is the doer of an action or the noun or pronoun who does an action becomes the subject of a sentence. But somewhere, this particular definition remains an incomplete definition. It's not a concrete definition. Why? Because if a doer of an action is a subject, and if I say a pen is lying on the ground, so a pen cannot do a work because it is an inanimate object. It's a non-living thing and a non-living thing cannot do any work. So how it could be a doer of an action? So what is the correct definition of a sentence, of a subject? So the correct definition of a subject is that a noun or pronoun which is talked in a sentence, whomsoever about or whichsoever thing about we talk in a sentence, that becomes the subject of that sentence. Suppose if I write, Raina is singing a song. Here, I'm talking about this girl, Raina. Raina is singing a song. Here, in this sentence of five words, I am talking about the girl, Raina. So here, the noun and pronoun, who or which is talked in a sentence, or of whomsoever we talk in a sentence, that becomes the subject of that sentence. So here, in this particular sentence, we are talking about this girl, Raina. So, Raina becomes the subject of this sentence. So, I'm just putting a tag on it. Raina is the subject. Next, verb. What is a verb? Verb is action done by the subject. Verb is a work, is an action or is an activity which is done by the subject. Whatever work, whichever activity the subject is doing, that is verb. So if I say verb is work, it's absolutely correct. So here Raina, what Raina is doing? Raina is doing the work of singing. Raina is doing the action of singing. Raina is doing the activity of singing. So what singing becomes? This singing becomes verb. Simple. Object. What is an object? Subject, the noun or pronoun, who or which is talked in the sentence. Whatever work subject is doing becomes the verb of the sentence. Now what is an object? Object is that noun or that pronoun on which the subject performs its work. The subject performs its activity. So here Raina, this subject is doing this work of singing on this song. So this song, a song, becomes the object. Here, Raina is doing the work of singing on this song. So the song becomes the object of this sentence. The fourth very important term, the basic term, is helping verb. Helping verb, if I say that English is all the game of helping verbs, it's fine, it's correct, it will not go wrong. It's all about the helping verb. Helping verb, you can say they are the pillars of the grand citadel of English. 
so one should be one should be very well aware one should be very well acquainted with the helping verbs so what is a helping verb what are helping verbs helping verbs are those verbs that come for the help of main verbs the verbs which come for the help of main verb are the helping verbs here singing is the verb as i told you earlier also because singing is the verb which raina is doing so which word in this sentence is coming for the help of this main verb singing which word is the which word in this sentence is coming for the help of the singing yes is is that word which is coming for the help of this main verb singing so here is becomes the helping verb is is the helping verb so i hope with this sentence all the four terms are clear to you all subject verb object and helping verb now let us switch on to the main topic that is active and passive voice what is an active voice active voice when subject performs its work on the object let me just give you a quick recapitulation about the subject verb object so it becomes very very crystal clear to you all subject noun or pronoun which is being talked in a sentence who is being talked in a sentence verb action done by any subject means any work any activity any kind of you know work only we should say done by the subject is verb object noun or pronoun on which subject performs its work subject performs its activity that is object and helping verbs helping verb is that verb which come for the help of main verb clear now what is an active voice whenever a subject whenever a subject performs any work any activity on the object that is active voice simple i am teaching the students so here i am i the subject is doing the work of teaching on the students that is active voice see i have written an example over here which will make you active voice very clear danish reads a newspaper here we are talking about the man danish danish is the subject danish becomes the subject of the sentence what danish is doing danish is doing the work of reading reads so reads become the reads becomes the verb of the sentence danish is the subject of the sentence danish is doing the work of reading so verb reads this word reads becomes the verb of the sentence danish is doing the work of reading on this newspaper so a newspaper becomes an object so here when the subject performs its activity or its work on the object it is active voice simple now let's do let's uh, let's switch it on to the other side of the coin now that is passive voice what passive voice is passive voice when subject undergoes the action of a verb when subject suffers from the work of the verb when subject you know takes the work which is being done by this which is done so that is known as the passive voice see here i wrote danish reads a newspaper so what danish is doing danish is reading a newspaper here what will be the passive voice now we will see what this object newspaper is suffering from it is suffering from the work which is done by the subject see the passive voice a newspaper is read by danish so here this newspaper is undergoing the process of bearing suffering having the work done by this danish this and this is called as passive voice there is only one basic difference between active and passive voice that is in active voice we talk about the work is being done the work is being done and in passive voice we talk about the work which is being suffered which is being handled which is being taken this is the basic difference between active and passive voice